Hi, my name is Melina Jürgens and I play the heroine Senua in Hellblade Senua Sacrifice. Um, I'm also Ninja Theory's video editor, which makes me responsible for all the Death Diaries that you're watching, like the one right now. <laughs> and um, because I'm away on my Christmas holidays right now and I didn't want to leave you without another diary for the rest of the year, I asked Tam and Dom if I could do an episode on how I became Senua while I'm out here in Hong Kong. So I'm 25 years old and uh, I come from a place called Paderborn in Germany which lies in the northwest of the country and at the age of about uh, 16 I decided to move to England and study photography and video editing and around five years ago I then joined um, Ninja Theory in Cambridge and I was working on projects like Devil May Cry where I filmed behind the scenes on the mocap shoots and I also created the game trailers. So like I mentioned earlier, my actual job on Hellblade was to be the video editor only and to create episodes about the game um, and put them online for the public to follow every step of game development. And only about two or three months into the project, my path kind of changed from being behind the camera documenting everything to also being in front of the camera as lead character Senua. So while Ninja Theory was still looking for a professional actress to play the role of Senua, um, they kept asking me to be a stand-in for their tech experiments or sometimes to just try out different styles of makeup for Senua's face or war paint on her arms, for example. Somehow I started getting more and more involved in the process without actually realizing it at that point and they started asking me if I could act out little test scenes for them um, but they didn't realize that acting is actually my worst nightmare and I've always avoided it even in school. <laughs> so um, because the scenes were quite dramatic involving crying and screaming and I was um, having to perform in front of my work colleagues I felt very embarrassed and I kept asking them to turn their backs on me or to switch the lights off because I just felt so uncomfortable being watched by them. Leave me alone! Shut up! I think they're more used to me being the clown of the office rather than a very serious person. So after helping out for a while, Tam approached me and asked me if I wanted the role as Senua and I was really surprised and had no idea what to say to him. Um, but Tan felt that I could do it and that he could direct me and she said that I'm already acting in the office every day without even realizing it. No, you do this. <laughs> it took me a while to think about the offer because I was worried if I was capable enough to do the job because I've never acted before but also I was thinking of uh, what would happen to my video editing job um, in the end I just went for both and ended up doing video editing while sometimes still wearing my mocap suit. After accepting the offer everything went pretty fast. Um, the first thing we had to do was fly to Serbia to get my face scanned by three lateral. The face scan was really fun but it had a downside to it which was the face mask that I had to wear all day. After about an hour it got rock solid and it was becoming very painful. Oh my God, it hurts. After they had a detailed scan of my face, Ninja Theory also decided to scan my body and muscles. To prepare me for that, they sent me to a personal trainer called David Morgan, who is an ex-Olympic weightlifting athlete and five times Commonwealth champion. We only had six weeks time to get my body into shape, so after measuring my body and telling me what I can and can't eat, the aim was to lose body fat and build as much muscle as possible in the short amount of time that we had. to lose about three kilos of body fat and gain around the same amount of muscles so then I was ready to go to my body scan. After the body scan was done I still decided to stay fit for the role as Senua because it made me feel good but also it came across better in the mocap when I felt strong. So I continued going weightlifting and doing everything that Dave taught me but I also started getting into boxing and MMA training and I also recently had my first class in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. To 
prepare mentally for the role as Senua, I really tried to remember my own real life experiences, but I also had the chance to meet a lovely group of people who have experiences with severe mental illness, seeing visions and also hearing voices. Those meetings were very useful because I got to understand the human side of things, of what it feels like and how it affects them, and um, also how they're fighting to overcome the challenges that they're facing. Because I am now representing those experiences, I really tried hard to imagine how it would feel like and how I would react in that position. So I prepared my body and mind, but to improve my acting skills, I decided to rehearse away from people to come out of my shell more. So sometimes I went into an empty room or into a forest to just experiment of what I'm capable of. At this point, I had no idea that soon I'd be performing in front of thousands of people rather than just a few work colleagues. At our live presentations, I was not able to ask the audience to turn their backs on me. <laughs> Those live presentations were extremely hard. We did months and months of rehearsals and had 14-hour days. I also had blinding lights in my eyes the whole time and headphones taped to my ears with audio representations, so I couldn't hear or speak to anybody. I was also attached to cables, so I couldn't really walk anywhere without asking someone for permission. Go on, pony. The, the, the monkey, it was like a monkey on a leash. <laughs> but the team was super cool and supportive and we always used the time in between takes to joke around and keep the spirits up. Fresh fish. The pressure of performing in front of so many people was extremely high, especially because I was supposed to show off a brand new tag that kept breaking during the rehearsals. <laughs> Moments before the presentation, I got so scared that my face just went blank. Everybody started to panic backstage because they thought the facial sova was broken. But it was just me being so scared that my face went completely frozen. When they opened the curtains to reveal me live on stage, um, my voice was shaking, I had tears in my eyes. And my nervousness actually worked out to my advantage because it made my performance much more believable. I'll find you, my love. I promise. Because I've never been an actor before, I thought that everything I had to do was normal. But only afterwards I kind of realized that some of the things I had to do have never even been attempted before. So if you look on that side of the stage, you'll see that Melina, our actress, has just performed the entire scene live in real time from within the Hellgla Hellblade world. Sigraf was slightly more difficult because I had to play two Senuas at the same time. So one Senua speaking to the other. So I had to count a lot of timing in my head and watch markers on the floor to not have the two characters bump into each other. Sigraf was a lot more risky on the performance side and also on the technology side. But in the end, everything worked out great and the performance was spot on and the timing was spot on. The technology didn't break and we even managed to win the Real Time Life Award. Uh, on behalf of everyone who worked on this project, I'd like to say thank you. This has been like a labor of love for really the past, I don't know, seven weeks. <laughs> My experience on Hellblade has been amazing so far and I feel really lucky to be part of the project. It's been a great personal journey for myself and I really can't wait to see what more there is to come in the next year. In the name of the team at Ninja Theory and also myself, we want to wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. <laughs> we wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas.